boys and girls, Miss Terry's here today with another book to read to you guys. It's called The Gruffalo. And I always read this in October because I don't really like monsters and scary things. So this is a funny looking, maybe monster, not a real monster, but it takes place in the deep, dark wood. And it's written by Julia Donaldson. It's also an AR book. The book level is 2.3. And um, Mr. Herman has shown you on the front cover the quiz number and the points you get for reading it. So listen to it, and I think you'll love it and be able to take an AR test on it. Here we go. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox? Oh my, fox said goodbye, little mouse. And away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Join me for tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, owl, but no, I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has knobby knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here by this stream and his favorite food is owl ice cream. <clears throat> owl ice cream to wit to who? Goodbye, little mouse, and away Owl flew. Silly old Owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Come, where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, Snake, but no, I'm having a feast with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo! Why didn't you know? His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake. And his favorite food is Scramble Snake. Scramble Snake, it's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse, and away Snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. Oh, but who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth and terrible jaws? He has knobby knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help, oh no, it is a gruffalo. My favorite food, the gruffalo said, you'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this deep, dark wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. Oh, sure, said the Gruffalo, burning with laughter. You lead the way and I'll follow after. 
They walked and walked till the gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the grass ahead. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why, Snake, hello. Snake took one look at the gruffalo. Oh dear, he said goodbye, little mouse, and slid right into his log pile house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the Mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Boo hoo, he said. Goodbye, little Mouse, and flew right up to his treetop house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear some paws on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the Mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little Mouse and ran right into his underground house. The mouse said, Gruffalo, now you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is starting to rumble and my favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut was good. That was a smart little mouse, wasn't it? And from then on, he lived in the deep dark wood without any fear. Thank you, boys and girls. I hope you really, really loved that book. I did, it's one of my favorite. I read it every year. And come back again and listen next week and I'll have a new book. Bye-bye.